Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow, new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and blue star caps are no exception. It's said that the treasure is guarded by a man named Festus, and he's the one who asked for the blue star caps. It's also said he's been around since the war, standing a lonely vigil, waiting for someone to come and take the treasure off his hands. That'll make him pretty damn old, but I've met a few people in my travels who claim they actually met him, and they weren't the lying type either. Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. And even if I did still collect them, I'd tell you the same. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. No one knows. Money, weapons, water. It is, or maybe was, something of value, and that's enough to get people motivated. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for their stars already. We need more people like you around. Hey there. Hello. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. 
Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. All right. He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Sure, the outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Fine by me. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there.
Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Got a special discount for you, after what you've done for us. Be careful out there. Hello. Feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. Here's some caps for the work. You're welcome. So can I get you anything? Be careful out there. <laughs> 